Okay guys, today what we're going to talk about on trainer cam is uh, stuff to do with your dog when it's too cold to go outside. Okay, I get people call me all the time and they're like, Stoney, Stoney, I want to train like you. And then uh, they'll email me or sign up for an online training course or whatever. And they're, you know, one of the first things they, were, they say is I didn't get to practice much because the weather's bad. Well, listen, toughen up. If you guys want to train like me, you got to get up and you got to go outside and you got to get in the weather. A little weather ought not stop any good training, okay? But in the meantime, while you're trying to toughen up, we're going to talk about doing some stuff with puppies uh, right inside your house using some things that are just laying around. Like right here, what did I do? I took that crate and I took a little Tupperware box and I practiced getting up on top of that crate and staying. That's my small challenge. So I use my crate for a small challenge right off the bat. And that's super cool, works out really easy. It's a lot of fun to do, right? Now, okay, so after we did a little bit of jumping and climbing up onto that crate, did a little bit of staying on that elevated surface, uh, I thought, Stay. you know, this would be a fun time to kind of work Stay. on directional commands. All right, so Good. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm gonna kind of let you guys watch and listen and, and see what's going on here. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the crate and I'm gonna put it straight Stay. in front of me and I'm gonna practice sending, dog, sending the dog over there to the crate and stay in, okay? And then after I've got some repetitions of that, and I feel the dog starting to master that uh, part of the behavior, uh, I'm gonna take and move the crate over to my right, and uh, I'm gonna use my like a sweeping hand motion to send the dog to the right, and then I'm gonna move the crate over to the left, and I'm gonna use kind of a sweeping hand motion to get the dog to go to the left, and it's kind of fun stuff, and it's easy to do. You can do it in your garage, you can do it in your kitchen, you can do it pretty much anywhere you need to do. Now, uh, you know, like I said, I like to do most of my training outside, and this is good, Stay. guys. This kind of stuff, it's good. It's, it's better than not training, but training inside is never going to give you all the collateral benefits that training outside does. So uh, I want you to watch this exercise, and I'm happy if you do this exercise at home. Uh, but really, to be honest with you guys, come on now. Don't let the weather stand in the way of good dog training. You know, you can get this perfect in the house, and then when you go outside, uh, it's almost Stay. like starting over again. You know, so lay your foundation in the house, you know, and uh, have a good time with your dog. And, you know, but while good. you're doing that, try to be toughening up. Order you some good smart wool underwear or something so you can get outside and get that dog exercised, get that dog some fresh air and get that dog some mental and physical stimulation. All right. So watch the rest of the video and uh, then follow along, guys. See you later. Oh, what a fine animal. Oh, what a fine animal. What a fine animal. Oh, what a fine animal. Oh, uh -oh. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're too smart. You're too smart. Oh, come on out of there. Come on out of there. Oh, it's a very smart girl.
Good girl. Girl. Good girl. You're so smart. Oh, that's a smarty. Okay, this is my baby. Mm -hmm. This is my baby. Mm -hmm.